that one as it's good from 56 yards out. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They find themselves down 17 to 7 as they start this drive first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. On second down, Winston again. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one good for 26 and a first down. Mike Reddy, white 25. They'll run on first down. Jones. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. Check, check, watch the game. Easy, easy. You must be dreaming. Right there. A first down throw for Winston. Oh, he's thinking end zone for Evans. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. The PAT good. It would draw him closer, but hold on just a second. A flag is down on the field. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, and that's caught at the 25. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Exactly 50 yards on that last play as they just go from 125 to the other for first and 10. Elliott running right. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half, 
Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. To throw is Prescott. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. Hey, kill, kill! Kill, kill! 47! 54, right there, right there. 56. Prescott from the gun on third. And that will be incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. The kick by Marr is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that, and we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Now we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. And that is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only gonna fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Ready. An incomplete Ready. pass Ready. leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here I come again. Here I come again. Here I come again. Three, triple three. Three, triple three. 55. Watch the call. Easy, easy, easy. 55, Mike, 55. Hey, 5-0, hey, 5-0, 5-0. Here's Winston. That's caught by Howard. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Final play of the half here, Winston. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, he's gonna let this go for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail, second down. Time for a break, we've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead and we resume action here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. 
I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Jones. And some space here. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. A big pick up there. 18 yards and a Buccaneer first. Jameis now on first down. He completes it to Evans. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans, 51 yards. And now they can recapture the lead if they can make the PAT. It's been quite the game for him individually. A trio of touchdown catches now. So pick a route. Any route, whatever you want him to run, he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone. This has really been fun to watch. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that will put them on top here in the third. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know... Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott, it's caught. Cooper, and up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. They'll try the right side with Elliott. Tackle made by Justin Evans. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. From the 39, Prescott. And he hits Jason Witten to tie it in. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That one, a first down pickup of eight. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes. You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he can get a good head of steam going. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Brings up second and two at the 45-yard line. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Again, it's Elliott. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. And he's going to wind up getting this all the way down to the Buccaneers' 
14-yard line. That type of run right there, that just fires me up when I watch it because that's maybe the most underrated aspect of his game. The ability to break tackles and know where the first down chains are and pick them up. He's tough, good pedigree. Dad Stacy was a linebacker at Missouri. Yeah, and how about mom on the track team? So I think that's where the speed came from. And, she just, and she's not shy about letting us know that, too. <laughs> yeah, I got the best of both worlds. And nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Prescott. Flush to his right. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. The sack by the Super Bowl champion and pro bowler Jason Pierre-Paul. Back now in Arlington. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. He's got his target. It's Cobb. A pickup of 24. And that's where the play began, the 24-yard line. And that's how you throw for a whole heap of yards in a game. You get efforts like that from your receivers. How about him laying out for that catch? Yeah, excellent. Makes the quarterback look a whole lot better. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott. Taking it in. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that extra, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Winston. Got a man. It's Brashad Perriman. First down Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Green, come with me. Hey, stop, stop, stop. Easy, easy, easy. Mike 5'4", Mike 5'4". Easy, 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 easy. Hey, let's go now. On first and ten, Winston. Looking for Perriman there. He's got him. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, Winston. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. This is caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Three, 
They come out with one back and three tight ends. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Buccaneers have once again taken the lead. So now an extra point doesn't help much. They'll try to go for two to make the difference a field goal, and they can lead it by three. They're going to run for it with Jones. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. A first down throw for Prescott. He's got the connection to Cooper. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And they got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 31 yards there and a first down. That's good for the Cowboys. First down. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. They keep on the ground with Elliott. It's and he's taken down inside the 30. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. First down, Elliott. Shaquille Barrett in on the tackle. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. On second down, Elliott. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. And now all of a sudden, the shoe's kind of on the other foot. Maybe you pull the reins back here a bit? Yeah, a little bit because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Prescott. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Randall Cobb, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Brings up the third down and ten yards to go. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. It's fourth down. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. 
And his kick is indeed good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. This is taken at the three. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. Don't change that dial. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They're set for their first drive here in overtime, and this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team, and that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. Well, it's been loud in here so far. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Jameis to throw it. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Two straight incompletions. Now the pressure's really on. Last thing you want here to start overtime, a three and out. And I know that a few years ago when they changed the rules about overtime, it may have changed a little bit about how you go about things. But bottom line is, when you have the football, you never want to give it up. You want to make sure you get points on the board at a minimum and put pressure on the other team. This is a huge third down call coming up. On third down, Winston. That is caught. It's Perriman. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Give them 32 on the play. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Here's Jones. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? On second and a yard, Winston. He's got this one complete to Paramount. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. A partner, a great game that we got to see.